Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on this painting I have in front of me here. It's actually one that I did as a demo piece for the current project on my membership group. I was just doing a bit of painting, I was looking at some of my uh, finished work, I was looking at some of my uh, collages as well. I had a piece here that I was looking at, drawing some bit of inspiration out of that, and I actually had a, a finished painting that I was looking at that's in this book that I have. So there were some quite nice marks in here. I thought it was quite exciting and I wanted to use something as a bit of inspiration because I wanted to work in the studio rather than being outside because like I said, I was doing it as part of a project so I needed to think about what I was doing, think clearly. So it's got a bit of collage on it. It's got some acrylic paint on it. Uh, it's got different layers of uh, dry materials like um, pastels, soft pastels. It also has some oil pastels, some watercolor pencils. So it's got all sorts thrown at it. So as you probably know, I like to work like this where I'm working on uh, large sheets of paper. I do this when I'm working outside as well, not just in the studio, but I like to work on large sheets of paper, bring them back to the studio and then crop them down, collage them together and try and find some exciting and different compositions. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this one. As I'm sure you know, I don't just work on small scale paintings and collages. I also like to work on a big scale like this one behind me. And I have a brand new workshop coming up in July, which is all about the specific challenges working on a larger scale. It's a brand new two week online workshop and it's all about how you can get most out of your work when you're starting to work on a larger scale. It's all very well working on these small scale paintings, but how do you get them to a, a bigger scale so they have the kind of impact and interest that your smaller work or maybe even your work in sketchbooks has? It can be quite tricky. So we're gonna be going through lots of different ways and lots of different methods and thought processes and practical work to see how you can really pull out the best in your large scale paintings. So if you're interested in finding out a bit more about my new two week online workshop, check out the link that's on the screen here and in the description to the video. Okay, let's get on. You may have seen me do this kind of work before where I'm taking large sheets of paper, getting a load of paint and collage and all sorts of stuff down on that in response to something either outside or in the studio and then bringing them back and having a really good play around with them by uh, cropping and adding collage and really trying to get the most out of each piece of work rather than saying okay I've done that piece of work now and that's it it's finished uh, it just stays in my uh, large pad of paper here and doesn't really go anywhere what I like to do is have a really good mess around with them crop them down play about with the collage adding pieces trying to find exciting arrangements of colors and shapes and tones. Obviously this is uh, with a bit of charcoal. But what I'm really looking for when I'm working like this is to try and surprise myself. I'm trying to find something unexpected, an arrangement of tones, and colors and shapes and lines and marks on the paper that really excites me and that I didn't know that I was gonna get beforehand. Okay, let's get on and have a look and see what comes out of it. And like I said, I have no idea where it's gonna go, but that's what I find really exciting about working like this.
a bit of fun and as you can see I didn't really make any dramatic changes to the painting there was a couple of things that I was looking at while I was going along and as I did it I thought you know that's probably enough I didn't really need to overcomplicate it too much when I was doing the initial cropping I noticed that this little mark up here when I had my pieces of paper just masking out areas to see if I could find a piece to work with. I just noticed this little uh, light circular mark. It's actually a little um, blob of paint there that I've done with a brush, but the paper behind it, the clean paper has made this little circular mark. And it's not something that I really noticed when I was doing the painting originally, but once you start cropping things, you start to see different shapes and patterns emerging. So that was quite good. I just like that. I thought that's a good place to start, quite this little circular mark and it tied in quite nicely with these little uh, circular drawn marks of the, uh, so actually some oil pastels. So I thought that kind of linked together quite nicely. So that's the starting point for that. And then as I was doing some collage, there's some really good brush marks here that are, are built up with some um, I use these kind of very stubby little brushes to create nice big brush marks. And I'd noticed that that was quite interesting. So I really liked those marks and where I cropped it off, there was a bit more of it. So I decided I wanted to add that back in somewhere, started putting it over here. The other part of this piece, you may have noticed I cropped it off. Originally I had a larger piece that I was going to put there, but I didn't really like what was going on in this corner with that piece. I liked the brush marks, but I didn't really like what the rest of it. So I thought I'd put it down and see if I can find a more interesting piece to go over the top. And at which point it was starting to get a little bit overcomplicated because I quite like at the moment, it's got more or less a sort of half and half sort of composition where there's dark at the top and light at the bottom. But there was kind of too much going on down the bottom here. So I wanted to find something that would simplify it down a little bit. So that's what I've done with this piece because I really like these uh, nice big swirly brush marks. And then I've got this uh, watercolor pencil, this pale blue watercolor pencil, and that's quite a nice looping kind of mark. And it kind of draws your eye back into the painting. You don't get to the bottom and then kind of, everything's leading your eye away. It kind of draws your eye back in. I'm sometimes looking for things like that in the composition to retain the interest in the painting. So that's why I wanted to put these marks down here. Plus it's a fairly light piece. It's keeping the bottom of the painting quite light not over complicating the composition. So that was my thought processes while I was doing the actual collage. So I really hope you found that enjoyable. And if you are interested in my new online workshop coming up in July about painting on a large scale, do check out the links on the screen here and then the description to the video. Okay, I'll see you soon.